The death toll from Wednesday's protests against the arrest of Ugandan presidential candidate Robert Chajulani, known as Bobby Wine, has risen to seven. Police have, however, still not explained the cause of the deaths or the nature of the injuries. Graphic videos and photos shared on social media showed several people lying on the streets covered in blood, allegedly shot dead. A Uganda Red Cross statement said that their frontline workers had assisted 11 people with gunshot wounds. Meanwhile, opposition presidential candidates have suspended their campaigns, calling for fellow contestants to be released. Bobby Wine was arrested at a campaign rally on claims that he had drawn a crowd larger than the 200 people recommended by the Electoral Commission as a coronavirus prevention measure.